Hi friends, it's Petra here with another Bramble Fox video and today I'm creating a layout based on those gorgeous, gorgeous dies that I have shown over there on my page. And as you know, I will link everything below, but when I saw these dies, I knew I had to have them. It's a basic, people. You, you need them in your life. <laughs> um, that's what I tell uh, everyone around me, but it's true. You do need this one in your life. Um, so I started off with cutting out several of those few master reels and I used uh, several pinks from a hip kit collection since I'm creating a layout of my beautiful little niece Jess and she was wearing this cute little pink onesie so um, and then I thought that it would be great to add a little black accent and use that, well, it's not a spider web, but I call it spider webs. Uh, and I use that uh, black real dye with the really thin, delicate lines, but they cut amazing. It's really a one go and they're, they're fine. So they're really great dyes. Did I say you need them in your life? <laughs> um, so I'm placing them in a vertical way. And as you know, uh, it's not always pre-thought uh, in my case. Um, I just arrange things and then I'll start gluing down and things change along the way. Uh, and this time um, I am gluing things down um, on the photo and not on the page because I want to do some stenciling afterwards. But those black ones are so thin and delicate that I decide to tape them down with some washi because glue will only get it messy. And I don't know about you, but I I rarely use washi uh, as it was supposed to be used. I mostly only use it, as you see now, to tape things down for convenience. <laughs> uh, or to tape my cutting mat down uh, when it's less sticky. So um, I, I, I did have a hoarding issue with my washi tapes, but I quit uh, buying washi tapes because I rarely use them. I should use them more because they still are great, but so let me know what your washi habits are. <laughs> I'm curious if I'm the only one or if you also love washi but never use it. So um, it's my to go to thing to create a, a centerpiece of for the layout. So I'm creating the layout without attaching it to the background. That doesn't work all, always work, but I try to do that uh, most of the time because then I can pick the whole thing up and add uh, and, and mark the place where I want it to be on the page and then add my stenciling or mixed media. So I'm marking the spots where I want that complete layout piece to be. And I've picked a matching Distress Oxide. And of course you can choose your own inks according to your paper. And then I'm going to use one of my favorite Bramble Fox stencils. I love this one, so I will link everything below. This is also a must-have in your stash. For, for me it is. I'm not saying you should buy anything, but it is 
it is a gorgeous stencil and so versatile but um i am simply using that one ink uh, and creating those little flowery bursts of color as a background And I'm grabbing some little embellishments to uh, just add some more detail. As you know, I love to create with different layers and with different tex textures. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so I love using little puppy stickers or uh, chipboard uh, uh, die cuts just to create elevation and more interest in your page. So time to glue the whole thing down. And if you're wondering what kind of glue I'm using, I always use tacky glue, but I just simply uh, put some of the tacky glue in a small bottle because I like to work with that small bottle, with that uh, small tip. using some glossy accents to glue down that Moments to Cherish title. And glossy accents is a great, great glue, but it always takes a bit to dry. So don't be too impatient. Um, so I'm also incorporating some paper snips, links below people, uh, because paper snips are the best. I almost always use them on my pages. And I decide that there should be another little phrase just to balance everything out on the top of that layout. And time to do some splattering. And usually I splatter with the oxide that I've used. But this time I wanted to create a bit more of a pop uh, and let that black also come back as splatters. So I simply have some very old acrylic black paint. I dilute it quite a bit and just simply let it drop down. So I wet my um, brush really, really heavy, uh, which is quite a risk when you're hovering above your work. And then I simply let it drip down and do some little splatters. And that is it. So I hope you like it. I hope you got some inspiration. If you have any questions, let me know. Check out all the links below. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.